Mr. Trump. Perhaps you do not remember me or what you did to me so many years ago. But I can assure you that I remember you and what you did to me as though it was yesterday. Now, later today, an 11th woman will hold a press conference to accuse Donald Trump of inappropriate sexual conduct, sexual contact, just two days after the 10th woman came forward on Thursday. During Wednesday's debate, Trump categorically denied that any of the previous assault allegations against him are true, claiming that the accusations have been debunked. The 10th accuser, Corinna Virginia, who's now a yoga instructor, said that Trump grabbed her by the arm, then touched her breast while she waited for a car at the 1998 U.S. Open. I was in shock. I flinched. Don't you know who I am? Don't you know who I am? That's what he said to me. I felt intimidated and I felt powerless. In a statement, the Trump campaign dismissed the allegation and Virginia's lawyer, Gloria Allred, as, quote, a discredited political operative staging another coordinated publicity-seeking attack with the Clinton campaign. Now, our standards department requires we, us to tell you uh, that Gloria Allred is a longtime Clinton supporter, and she did serve as a Clinton delegate at the Democratic National Convention. And joining me now is women's rights attorney Gloria Allred. Um, so, Gloria, what can you tell us, first of all, about this 11th allegation? this next uh, woman, your new client, uh, and what she will allege that Trump did to her today. Well, Joy, I will uh, allow her to say that uh, and tell what she alleges uh, Mr. Trump did to her, what the interaction was, a little bit later today. But I would like to say that I think uh, that, the, uh, that everyone knows that I have in the past 40 years as a women's rights attorney criticize both Democrats and Republicans. So I'm not just singling out Donald Trump, because I have publicly criticized Mayor Bob Filner, who was a Democratic mayor of San Diego, and alleged sexual harassment against him and filed a lawsuit, and after which he had to resign in the mediation of our lawsuit. Nineteen women came forward to make allegations against him. I've also criticized Democrat Anthony Weiner uh, when he was a congressman for the sexting that he did. And so I have criticized many Republicans as well. I'm not an operative. I've had no contact with the Clinton campaign in reference to the women who have come forward. And I've, uh, they, they don't tell me what to do. I don't tell them what to do. No contact whatsoever. But I believe these women ha are entitled to have a voice to speak out. And I commend them for their courage in doing so. And we just showed, I think that's a very important point to make regarding contact with the campaign, because that is the allegation that the Trump camp is making about you. Um, but when you look at these accusers, 10 so far, and we can put those pictures of them back up Jessica Leeds, Natasha Stoinoff, Summer Zervos, Rachel Crooks, Temple Taggart, Christian Anderson, Jill Harth, Kathy Heller, Mindy McGillivray, and Karenna Virginia. Um, these are a lot of women who don't know one another. They all come from different walks of life. Um, is it credible to you that they? could all be, quote, seeking publicity or making up stories about Donald Trump, all of them making up such similar stories? Well, Joy, this is a standard script line by rich, powerful, famous men who uh, want to destroy women, who don't want to be accountable for uh, what the women allege that they have done to them. I mean, you can roll out that line before any women speak in anticipation of women speaking. So the real question is, and just same question posed on, on the, the accusers of Bill Cosby uh, and the accusers of many other men, how many women is it going to take before women are believed over the denial of one man? Or is one man going to be believed over the, over the accusations of 11 women or more? 
Yeah. We'll have to wait and see. And have you ever had a case in all of the years, and you've been doing this for, for quite a long time, um, Gloria, have you ever had a case in which the man in question, whether it's the Filner case or the Cosby case or any other case, where you've actually had the man in question on tape describing the way that he gropes women as we have in this 2005 tape from Access Hollywood? Uh, no, but it's interesting because, of course, Bill Cosby, uh, in his deposition, which was recorded and in which he was under oath, uh, admitted, uh, you know, giving quaaludes to women to have sex, although he didn't say whether or not it was with their consent. Here, instead of having a deposition testimony, we have the Access Hollywood tape, uh, which was released. And what the women now are saying, all of these accusers, is completely consistent, Joy, with what Mr. Trump said on that Access Hollywood tape, except, of course, now he is alleging that he didn't act on what he said and that he has complete respect for women. Well, how is it respect for women if, in fact, uh, the women are alleging that he grabbed their breasts, that he grabbed their vagina, that he kissed them without their consent, that he tried to get them into the bedroom? That's not respect for women. That's utter and complete disrespect if it's true. Yeah, and I want to play one more soundbite from Corinna Virginia, your, uh, your other client, um, on what she did expect to happen uh, once she came forward and told her story. Take a listen. I have been advised that Mr. Trump will probably call me a liar, just as he called all the other women liars who have made accusations against him. Or perhaps he will label me as just another nasty woman. And, and that last bit there um, could, could be a reference to what Donald Trump said about Hillary Clinton calling her a nasty woman during the debate. But in terms of these women who have come forward, Gloria, uh, the Trump campaign claims that they're seeking publicity. Has Corinna Virginia gotten anything like publicity that could benefit her career, for instance, out of coming forward? Well, and that's a really important point, Joy. Because no, and she, you know, she's not seeking fame. Uh, she's not doing any interviews. She made her statement at the press conference, and that's it. Uh, in addition, that was also the case with Summer Zervos, who came forward with me, the former candidate on The Apprentice, uh, of, of, of whom Mr. Trump says he has a vague recollection. No, she hasn't done any interviews since then. These women could have sold their story. They didn't do it. They didn't do it for money. They didn't do it for fame. Why is Mr. Trump running for president, by the way? Is he doing it for fame? Is he doing it to increase uh, uh, and monetize his brand after the election? One might ask the same question about him. But this is not true of the women who have come forward, at least come forward with me. And uh, again, as they say in certain parts of the country, that dog won't hunt. Yeah. Well, Gloria Alreda, we will all be watching uh, for your press conference later on today. So thank you very much for being here. And we will wait to hear what uh, your, your client has to say later on. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. All right. And